Welcome, welcome, good people of the free world. Tom Selly here with my second installment of Success Habits, Design Your Destiny. And as I said in the first video, you know, this series is all about the things that we do on a daily basis, the things that we have regimented our life to do, the things we do to streamline processes, you know, the applications that we use to, you know, increase productivity and make life more manageable. You know, uh, this thing called success, it's a daily routine, right? It's, it's daily habits, and that's why we call them success habits. You know, and I actually first heard the term practicing those success habits on a conference call a few months ago from a Mr. Uh, Hugh uh, Benjamin. Hugh Benjamin was, was just uh, giving his testimony, and he was talking about practicing those success habits, and that really impacted me because I thought, you know, there really are a lot of things that we do um, to increase productivity that, you know, a lot of uh, other people might not know about, right? As I, as I said in the first video, um, I've worked with some really smart people and I've picked up some tips and some tricks along the way. So success habits, uh, as I said yesterday, will be a series of things that are enlightenments that are going to help you uh, be more productive, that are going to help you and just improve in all areas of your life. It's not just pertaining to business, and it's definitely not just going to be me. I'm sure Robert's gonna have plenty of input. I'm sure uh, Bill will have plenty of input, and who knows who else we'll have as a guest. And today I wanna talk about, and I can't say that uh, I've been using this service uh, because I haven't. Um, I only became aware of it about a week ago, and I only subscribed to the thing yesterday, and after goofing around with it, I decided quite quickly that I needed to purchase a year in advance and then I decided that I needed to invite my business partners to it. And it is an awesome cross-platform cloud app called Evernote. And I love, I love, I love, I love the concept of Evernote. Uh, it is one central location where you can put all of your notes, your to-do lists, your random thoughts. You can scan documents. You can host images there, video, audio. I mean, uh, it's basically like the nerve center of all of the things that you're marinating on and all of the things that you want to accomplish for your business. Uh, some other great uses that you can uh, use Evernote for, you know, I like to keep everything digital if all possible. I'm not uh, a guy who scratches notes on a, with a patent pen, you know. I, I typically always have my netbook with me or my phone or something. Uh, you can take pictures of your receipts in business and upload them to Evernote. Uh, you can uh, host and manage images there. You can invite collaborators there. It's just so, so cool. Obviously, it's cross-platform, Android, uh, you know, iPhone, uh, access it from the web, access it from a public computer if, if need be. The point is that all of your thoughts and ideas are there instantly accessible from any device connected to the web. So, what's great about Evernote is it's absolutely free. There is some functionality, some extra functionality that you can pay for. And this isn't a plug for Evernote. We don't make an affiliate commission if you go there and you join. Um, either way though, $5 a month for the upgraded premium service, it gives you more storage and more capabilities. Or I think you can pay for the year, which is what I did. I paid 45 bucks for the year. Uh, which I thought was a uh, great value for, for, the, for the, uh, you know, the functionality that you get. So if you want to streamline your processes, if you want a trusted system that you can depend on, that you have access to 24-7, I highly recommend you go out and check out Evernote. Uh, you can visit the site at evernote.com. Capture anything, access anywhere, find things fast. And I like their tagline. It's two words. Remember everything. So use Evernote to stay organized. And until next time, this is Tom Selly saying thanks and God bless.